Joe, let's take a quick oh. second to uh, look under the hood of this thing. Okay. I got it. I'll get it. I'll get it from here. We just went on a uh, eight-hour drive. A little sore. It's electric. <laughs> this thing is anything but electric. Wow. So ba basically, man, we're looking at an LS motor, about 404 cubic inches, twin superchargers, manly internal, CPR built the motor. Uh, most of the suspension up front would just, you could bolt this back on a Z06 Corvette if you wanted to. Right now. This is Art Morrison, the TCI three link is in the back. And right now we're probably running close to six, 700 horsepower, but if we just hook a computer up to this thing, we can dial it up to about a thousand. That seems and necessary. And that would be a little insane for you know my driving skills today. So we're gonna keep it tamed down. At 700, great. All yeah. Right. So we're gonna get it, take it down the road, and see what it'll do. What's the uh, gas mileage on it? If you drove it right with boost turned down, I'm guessing 15, 16 miles right. a gallon. This is a great family car, is what I like. You can get some child seats back there. Make oh, a run yeah. to the grocery store. Yeah, this is the kind of car you just pull into the Sonic, or you move, and get it and go. Yeah. All right. Want to take it for a ride? Let's do it. Oh yeah. So, have you always had a love for automobiles? I had a love for them when I could afford them. That's when I really caught the bug. I like sports cars and SUVs. So, uh, the first, like nice, nice car that I bought was a Porsche Turbo S. And that was the dream come true. Then I bought I a thing called an Icon, which is a yep. 1970 Toyota FJ46, which is- Basically a brand new vehicle. A brand new car, yes. Other than like one little plate. Then I got another Turbo S. Then I got a Toyota Land Cruiser. From 1990 and I had that redone and right now I'm having an international scout restored by a guy named Brian Corsetti who is a genius. What is this ongoing theme with Porsches because my buddy got a twin turbo he decided to sell it so I had to have it so I bought it and it was like the greatest car ever and then I sold it when the Cayenne Turbo came out and I'm still kicking myself in the ass because I sold that Turbo 911 but I'm too cheap to buy another one. Did I f up or what? You can afford like five of them. Joe, so you don't understand. You can get them in different colors. I'm the cheapest guy you've ever ridden shotgun with. Oh, I don't know about that. You've always been into like knives and swords. I love swords. knives and swords and What axes. is the attraction? Where did that start? Because we both carry daily. My mom and dad, uh, met in uh, Europe and were married in Europe and that's where I was born and my dad uh, Collected stuff throughout the like he would go to the Middle East and pick up a whip and he'd go to Croatia and pick up a dagger or something old and so he had all that stuff And so when I was a kid for whatever reason, I just took it all and hung it on my wall So uh, that's where it started and it just never stopped. What's your kitchen knife situation like. Man, it's these Japanese blades. I want to say, if you have a kitchen full of dull knives, huh. you are, it's- Yeah, that not, just means you get you got a damn it's can just, opener it's not and you're even doing worth raviolis. being alive. You should just, just th it's not, one good sharp knife in your kitchen will do it, but- Dude, you love to cook, right? I love it, yeah. What's burned your interest in cooking? The culinary uh, skills that you possess? I wanted to be a chef when I was in second grade, and I'm ah. not kidding. So I would make omelets for my brothers during the summer. So now, I'm on YouTube, I follow all these Instagram accounts, and I copy all these recipes, and now I love it. 